All right, so I'm gonna attempt to explain how we're gonna cut this roof off. So the simple part is that we'll just cut it halfway through the middle of these hat channels here, and I have new hat channels that we'll just weld in there, same shape as this. That's pretty simple. Where it gets complicated is at the ends. Um, so we'll still be cutting through this one here, and then we'll have to slice up through this area here so that this part can go up and this part, well, this part will also go up with the roof, but this part here stays. As well as all this structure stays, I gotta grind off this weld so that that can go up with the roof and this can go up with the roof. And then we have another one of those there. And then same thing on this side, we'll slice it here so that this part can stay and this part can go up along with this part, obviously. So then we get to the front where it gets even more complicated so what's going to happen here is we'll have to just remove this part here i want this window part to stay here and then this roof part needs to go up and i don't know if you can see it but there's this piece back here that i want to stay with the window because it's kind of part of this framing so i gotta remove this piece get it out of the way so i can get back to grind out a weld along there so that we can, we'll cut the hat channel about right here, and then this part will go up, this part will stay, and this part will go up. And then up here, we'll have to grind the welds out of the, from this hat channel. We'll have to grind that out so the hat channel can go up. And then this is pretty much the same as it was in the back. We've got to grind those welds out, and same with that. And then over here, you can see it a little bit better. Got to grind out those welds. You can see the arrows pointing to it. And then got to grind out that weld somehow. That's going to be fun. And then disconnect this piece from this hat channel all along that joint. And then we'll cut the hat channel about right there so that this part can go up and this part here can stay. And then to lift it, I actually have four chain hoists here in the shop on those I-beams. Uh, I had to chain up those three and that one's on a trolley. Um, but yeah, once everything's loose and we can just start uh, pulling on the chains and, and lift it up, I'm sure it's gonna shift and move around a little bit, but we can line everything back up and uh, make sure she's square and straight and, and level. And uh, yeah, we'll see how it goes. Hopefully, hopefully the roof goes up today. I've got one more hat channel to cut. I thought maybe before I do that, I'll just show you what I came up with for cutting them. So I made this little jig. You can see I made a little groove there. Uh, these two pieces are square to each other. And I just plop this up there. And it rests against that piece there. So they're all the same height. And then clamp it down with my clamp. And then I got a metal blade on my skill saw and I just take it and I rest it right here like this, nice and square and just cut it right through. So this is the last, last hat channel it needs to be cut.
good deal. That is loose. All right, so everything is loosened up. All the hat channels are cut. I got the front cap loose and the back cap loose. All that's left is to go around and start cranking on these hoists and see once what happens, see what gets stuck. All right, so I thought I'd just show you what I'm doing here, welding these guys up. Um, so I got this straight piece of uh, square tubing, pretty thick gauge, probably quarter inch, uh, quarter inch thick by two, two by two box tubing. And I'm just clamping it to my hat channels here. This is the new piece here, and this is the original. And making it, making sure that it's all straight, clamp it down, then weld it up. I've got the roof in the right spot as far as this way according to the body so everything is lined up this way now front to back everywhere so now I just need to worry about about this this shape so we're gonna go through and weld up the sides straighten it up and weld weld them up I do have this strap right here this whole top part of the roof was kind of over this way a little bit so I got that strap in there to sort of hold it straight in line with each other and uh, the front is pretty good so I don't actually have a strap up there right now but yeah we're gonna get to welding Putting this corner piece here, just having it go all the way down. We're just going to run it straight all the way up. It's overkill, a lot more than what we actually need, but cut off a little piece here, plant this in. So we'll weld it there, weld it in there, and just do a little weld down there. And uh, yeah, I just put this piece in here. This came down, this was originally welded right here. So I put this channel iron here and put this box tubing across so when we fasten our new sheet on there it has something pretty solid to rivet to so it won't be wobbling around while we're going down the road obviously same thing here all right so quick update on what i'm up to uh, we finally got all the welding done all the framing in it is in uh, you can see there's a few hat channels that are missing uh, filler pieces and that's because we're going to be putting windows in those spots so there's no need to weld in a hat channel. So uh, right now, I was just hammering on some of these corners. They got a little bent up when I was prying it. So I got that kind of flattened out. And uh, we're ready to give this a quick coat of primer with some rusty metal primer. And uh, then we're gonna grab a piece of sheet metal and we're gonna try to lay it up here nice. 
Uh, so it's going to go underneath here and then on top of here and then get riveted on there. So I think this first piece I'm just going to bring around and end right here. And then I'll have a small filler piece that spans this gap here. And you can see it's angled here as well. So that piece will go there. And then we can start with our full size sheets down the side. And we'll do the exact same thing on this side. So that's what's up. And uh, we got my sheet down there. We're gonna tr try to figure out how to put a radius on it. Uh, similar or really close to that. So we can rivet it on there and around, so yeah.